Hello everybody, my name is Sarah. Welcome to Kids Following Jesus. Think about a time that you've been afraid or worried. It doesn't feel very good, right? And God doesn't want us to feel that way. God wants us to be at peace. At peace with Him, and at peace with others, and at peace with ourselves. But is that even possible? So for a man named Solomon, it was. So we can use him as an example. You can find his story in 1 Kings chapter 3 and 4. And I will tell you a little bit about King Solomon today. So King Solomon became king after King David died. And King Solomon was a very good king. He followed the laws of God. He worshiped God. He prayed every day. He built a temple so other people could worship. And he wanted his entire kingdom to be at peace. And so he made friends with all of the countries surrounding his kingdom, um, including Egypt. He actually married the daughter of the leader of Egypt. So in order to keep peace in his own kingdom, he was friends with all the kingdoms around him. Now, one night Solomon was sleeping and in a dream, God said to him, ask for anything and I will give it to you. Ask for anything. I mean, can you think of some things that you would ask God for? Solomon thanked God for everything that he had. And he only asked that God would allow him to know right from wrong. So God was pleased with Solomon and he gave him the wisdom that he asked for. And he also made Solomon very rich and powerful. And so King Solomon ruled over his kingdom and he had the knowledge of right and wrong, and he kept the kingdom at peace. And everybody that lived there had plenty to eat and plenty to drink. They had trees and animals and crops, and they never had to worry about anything because they always had more than they would need. So they were happy and they lived at peace as long as Solomon was the king. So what this teaches us is that God can help us be at peace. So whenever we are worried or we're afraid, we can talk to God and we can ask him to take that fear and to take that worry away. And then we let it go. And when you let it go, it leaves room for peace. And this is something that all of us can work on every week. All right, everyone, let's take some time and we'll pray together. Dear God, thank you for being a God of peace. Help us give our worries and fears to you so we may also have peace. Help us be friends with those around us so they may have peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me and I'll be back next week with more Kids Following Jesus.